Alright, just a little bit bored here, so I'm going to make another attempt at stacking all 106 Rummy Cube pieces. Uh, Rummy Cube is my latest um, attempt at programming artificial intelligence. Uh, one of the most challenging aspects of Rummy Cube is the huge branching factor, right? At any given turn, there are often dozens of moves one can make, and this makes in a challenge for computers to play because it's got to think about 20 moves it can make times the 20 response. Well, first of all, it's got to multiply it by all the different combinations of tiles you could have, which is a huge number, right? Millions upon millions times each of those you, you have 20 different moves you could make times if you were to draw a tile, the dozens of tiles that could come up and you get the idea. It's a huge explosion, right? Um... And then the, the checking whether or not um, a move is possible, right? A given set of tiles can be played is itself a tricky problem, right? Uh, not quite NP complete, but it, it, it takes quite a bit of runtime, and then you got to check all the different uh, possible moves, right? Anyways, that's a little bit beyond the scope of this. Uh, another thing I've thought about, since I love the game of Rummy Cube so much, I thought about um, the threat that um, the uh, the federal government might confiscate our uh, precious metals. Uh, there's usually a clause in there that they cannot confiscate personal jewelry. And I thought about having a Rummy Cube set made of either gold or platinum. 106 pieces if each one of these were one ounce. So that, that would be a good way to squirrel away some of the precious metals. And plus, it might have some value 100 years from now, right? Imagine you had a Rummy Cube set from the Great Depression made of solid gold. I would imagine that would be a lot more valuable than just the, the bullion value, right? Um, but Rummy Cube is most suited for that because each one would be almost exactly the one ounce bar, right? With chess or shogi where the pieces are different sizes, that might be a little trickier to do, right? And it would make a nice conversation piece anyhow. Uh, I first got the idea of stacking pieces with um, Chinese chess. Uh, unfortunately, I, I left my um, my stackable Chinese. Ch I have another Chinese set, Chinese chess set, but it's made of uh, wood, which is harder to stack. I left the one that was easily stackable in my office, and they locked up, so uh, I don't have it with me. Uh, but if you stack 10 or 20 pieces, and you, you use the bottom piece to knock out, uh, or one another piece to knock out the bottom piece, sometimes the whole tower stays intact, which is why I, I like it. It doesn't seem to work as well with Rummy Cube, at least not until I make a set out of gold, right? Uh, I was looking at a website... Uh, one of the uh, one of the bullion companies uh, they make silver rounds out of hundred or one thousand ounce silver bars, but of course right now they're mostly busy selling other products. So, um, uh, but I, I'm thinking about turning some of my larger bars into uh, into something else, uh, especially something that I can claim as a collectible or jewelry, right? Just in case, or I gotta research more into this, but what happens when you leave the country with uh, lots of jewelry, right? Uh, I can't remember how the declaration works when you go through customs. I've mused about moving out of the United States because um, I just think Americans are just very disgusting. We don't have very good... Um, health habits for sure. I forgot to mention this in the last video, but another thing that disappoints me about America is, especially now that things are back open, if you go to a restaurant and the Wi-Fi doesn't work, it is very difficult to find anybody who will look into it here in the United States. Everybody's like, oh, this is not my job, right? Or you ask anything that's just a little bit outside of somebody's scope at work, it's not my job. Uh, I've never run into. I, I rarely run into this when I travel abroad. Of uh, even when I even when I go to a country where I can't speak the language, like I'll be in Gdansk, Poland. 
I'll go to a restaurant, the Wi-Fi doesn't work, I'll try to talk to the waiter, he doesn't speak English, I put it into my phone, and, uh, and then he gets like a, a dozen other people in the restaurant to, to, to all look into the, into the router, and <laughs> can you imagine trying to go to a restaurant here in Seattle, speaking to a waiter in Polish, trying to ask why, why the Wi-Fi is not working, can you imagine the funny face they would, uh, give you, right? Not, not fun, right? Um, what else do I run into? Uh, oh, uh, people don't have very good patience here. I, I had a situation where, uh, I, uh, I, uh, it's a blessing in disguise, but a couple years ago, I got banned from my favorite shopping mall. I had a really bad day, and, uh, I, I, I tried to contact the, uh, manager to appeal my situation i contacted the ceo of the development and really had he had any of those people sat down for five minutes to listen to what happened they would have understood but nobody had the patience to listen to it i, I i'm not a very good negotiator it was a blessing in disguise though because i ended up doing other things that i, I really discovered myself over the course of the six months that i was banned from that shopping mall but it gave it left me a bad taste of how americans uh handle a lot of things oh uh, anyway i guess i didn't get very far with that uh, if anybody knows how to how to get a rummy cube set made out of silver definitely leave a comment i probably won't be affording a whole set of gold at the moment but 106 ounces of silver it, it looks like a looks like a, a fun conversation piece thanks for watching